The narratives surrounding the Islam Mahachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky fight have been wild. From speculative claims regarding the pound for pound discussion, to never before heard of scoring criteria, to even people claiming Volkanovsky deserved the win simply because it feels good. I saw so many people, fans, fighters, analysts, who woke up this morning believing that Volkanovsky deserves to maintain his pound for pound number one status. Not because he was robbed, or even because of a misunderstanding of the term pound for pound, but just because it feels right. Let's get one thing straight. Alexander Volkanovsky did not win this fight. He did not win the contest, he did not win the war, the battle, the street fight version, or any other fantasy scenario. If this was a pride fight, Volk is winning that fight, right? Meaning, Done. how you end the night is most important, right? Well, Just like how you would uh, score a street fight, right? Like the person that walks away looking better wins the night. Alexander Volkanovsky lost a five round UFC main event under the sanctioned unified rules of MMA. In the specific rule set that Islam Hachev and Alexander Volkanovsky both agreed to fight under, Islam Hachev proved to be the better man in a closely contested and back and forth affair. If there was a sixth round, Volk could have finished Mahachev, is the title of a recent ESPN video posted on YouTube. And while ESPN isn't exactly known for its expert MMA analysis, I think this video does a good job summarizing all of the narratives coming out of this fight. From the feelings that Alex won. As a fighter, when I watch fights, I trust my gut. And that's the only thing, I can't think, what are the judges looking for? I don't like to think of things like that. To the pound for pound debate discussion that Volk was a smaller man. Doesn't matter. Uh, uh, who really wins necessarily, we're talking about pound for pound. To pointing out that this is the first time Islam was pushed in a fight, therefore he is a worse fighter than Volk. We had never seen Islam almost looking at the clock, yeah. looking when is oh, this yeah. fight gonna be over, right? Grappling is what Islam does the best and he's been dominant his entire career in the UFC. Now he has a smaller man coming up weight class and he was not dominant. He was not able to hold him down. He was not able to finish him with his rear naked chokes. There are a lot of talking points to address, but the most relevant and the title of the video is this one. The way that the fight ended, if there was a sixth round, I think Volkanovski finishes his fight. By itself, this is such a stupid take that the response that I have to give feels just as stupid. But there wasn't a sixth round. These men agreed to a five round contest and Volkanovski did less work in that time than Mahachev and he lost the fight as a result. This is simple stuff here. I think the comment by Raj Khan said it best. If the fights were six rounds, both fighters would have fought differently. Looking through the comment section of this ESPN video makes me realize that more and more people are seeing this fight for what it is and not what they want it to be. And the section of people online using this opportunity to gleefully say that Islam Mahachev was exposed are not real fans of either fighter and are just a small minority of online haters. Islam. He was out of touch right there. He was starting to gas. He was starting to look for, I don't want to say a way out, mm -hmm. but you could see that he was hot and bothered by this matchup. That's why I think that Volkanovski should retain uh, the number one. As time goes on and the memories of the roar of the Australian crowd and Alex's heroic bravado in the face of such a dominant position fade, this win over a lightweight version of Alexander Volkanovski, where Islam outstruck and outgrappled the number one pound for pound fighter in the world in his first title defense, will go down as one of the greatest wins in a legendary resume. Thank you for watching this video. I just want to say that my opinion of Alexander Volkanovsky did increase after watching this fight with Islam, and I love his personality just as much as his fighting style. My defense of Islam's win is in no way meant as an attack on Volkanovsky, and my only goal is to target the skewed narratives around the fight that I'm seeing. Let me know what else you would like to see me cover, and please have a great day everyone.